Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know I'm a big fan of Amazfit smartwatches, Amazfit products. Now the brand is on a bit of a releasing spree because on the 11th of June, they will be releasing the Amazfit Verge 2 and the Amazfit Bip Lite. So these are gonna be two new smartwatches. I'm gonna tell you the specs, the kind of things we know about it already, but we'll have the full, full coverage of it on June the 11th. So keep that in your diary if you're interested in upgrading your smartwatches. Now let's start by talking about the Amazfit Bip Lite which is going to be a cheaper version of this, the Amazfit Bit. Now the Bit became very popular because it's very, very cheap. It's very, very user-friendly and it packs a lot of stuff into such a tiny little watch. It has a color screen, it has a heart rate monitor, GPS, accelerometer, and all of that packed into such a cheap watch is well, I mean, it's just a very popular option for people who do not want to spend hundreds and hundreds on a watch. And probably the most amazing thing about it is that the battery lasts around about 45 days on a single charge, which is unheard of. It's probably the only watch that can do that that I know of right now. So the Amazfit Bip Lite is basically going to retain every feature in the uh, original Bip apart from GPS. So the Bip Lite won't have GPS, but in return for that, the price will be halved. It will literally be half the price of the Bip, which is already pretty cheap anyway. So yeah, you won't have GPS, but you'll have basically the same functionality, the same heart rate monitor, the same screen, same design, which is all really awesome, which I think is a very, very good deal in an already very, very good value watch. Personally, I don't use the GPS on this very much because I always have my phone with me and I'm probably gonna use the GPS on that rather than on the watch. So if you are looking for a very cheap smartwatch, which uh, works very well, has kind of most of the basic uh, fitness tracking capabilities, then the Bip Lite is probably gonna be for you. Now, but now onto the second product that Amazfit is launching on June the 11th, the Amazfit Verge 2. I'm really surprised actually that they're already releasing the second version of this watch because this was only released, this is the original, was only released about six months ago. It doesn't seem to be a huge upgrade. I mean, we don't know that much about it, that it's literally just been teased and uh, they said they're gonna release it fully on June the 11th, but we know a few things about it. So according to a post on the Chinese microblogging site Weibo, the Amazfit Verge 2 will feature the latest mobile Snapdragon processor that will also support eSIM functionality. So that basically means you can have a electronic SIM card in the watch. You don't need an actual physical one, which means you'll be able to use it without your phone. You'll be able to receive messages, receive calls, etc. You won't need to connect it to your phone. So that means it will be untethered. So you will be able to use this basically as a phone if you wanted to. And I'm assuming that because of that, the operating system will also be upgraded because you can't do that right now with the uh, original Verge. But uh, as far as we know, that's the kind of only information we know so far. We don't really know what it's gonna look like. I'm kind of hoping they redo the design because while I do like the screen, the screen is really cool. It's uh, AMOLED, looks really sharp, looks very colorful. The plastic plastic design isn't great. Um, I just, I'm not a fan of the plastic design. I had to get myself a new strap because the strap was really basic and I didn't like it. I'm kind of disappointed they're not releasing a upgrade of the Amazfit Stratos, which has a way better design. It's glass and polycarbonate. It looks way better. It looks very sleek, very stylish, uh, but it just doesn't have the capabilities of the Verge. It doesn't have a good, I personally don't think the screen is as good. It doesn't have a microphone and speaker, so you can't really use it as a dictating for messages or receiving calls or taking calls. It's a shame they're not really continuing this line. They're sticking with the Verge. Yeah, I'm hoping they kind of can rectify at least the design issues that this watch has. Basically, the poster doesn't reveal much. It just has a tagline of I love you 3000, which apparently refers to the type of processor that the Amazfit Verge 2 will have, the Snapdragon Wear 3100. So this processor was released in late 2018, so it's fairly new and a lot more powerful than the previous version. So basically, all we know is that the Verge 2 will be a lot more powerful. You'll be able to untether it from your phone but apart from that, we don't really know anything else. You'll have to check back on June the 11th to find out. So Amazfit have been gearing up now for a lot of releases. I mean, they've already released the Amazfit Verge Lite, so a light version of this watch. And uh, basically what it does is get rid of the barometer, get rid of the microphone and the speakers and a few other things and slashes the price again. So similar to the BIP taking away the features that are probably not as used as much and creating a light version, but a much, much cheaper one, but retains most of the most popular features. So if you're interested in that, check out the de description and I've got a post about it. So yeah, a lot of watches coming that I've reviewed uh, their previous versions. So check back and I'm gonna be getting all of these watches and showing you exactly what they can do. So yeah, if you're interested in any of that, subscribe because I will be bringing them all to you and fully reviewing them in as honest way as I can. That is it, Amazfit Bip Lite and the Amazfit Verge 2 coming on June the 11th. Stay tuned. 
I will let you know how it goes. You can follow me on Instagram if you want, and I will post some stuff there when I know about it. Let me know what you want in these watches. What would be your ideal feature? What would be, what would be your ideal upgrade? What do you want to see in the Verge 2 and the Bip Light? So yeah, um, get back to me on that, and I will see you next time. So see you later. Bye.